All right, so today um, we have our AAP01 and we're gonna be installing the folding stock that is straight from Action Army onto this. So this is something that they intended to be um, perfectly suitable for this replica here. And this is an airsoft gun. Uh, maybe I should put an orange tip on there so that um, the people don't get upset. Um, the nice thing is I probably need to mention this or I should, probably should have mentioned this, but they have the barrel flutes out so it perfectly lines up with the orange tip on this kit that um, they get here. Um, so basically, obviously, let's go ahead and uh, take this out of the box if I can. I always have a hard time with boxes. Okay, and it's been a little while since I've done this, so forgive me if I have any um, hiccups in here. But this is pretty straightforward. So there's not anything crazy going on. Um, basically, let's go ahead and um, get this top rail taken off of here. So you just need to unscrew that screw that's right there. And I believe it's a 2 millimeter. Could be wrong. We'll find out. It's a two millimeter for sure. Okay. And now that that's out, um, all we have to do is remove this screw that's right up here. And you can see that a nut just fell out of the other side. And now I can poke it through. So yeah, you got your nut and your screw, and um, we're 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 on the home stretch already. <laughs> uh, this is very very simple to do. Um, so let's remove the rear sight here. Um, so just unscrew it like so. Put these two screws up here. Um, and I actually didn't turn the hop up on this gun, so I'm going to do that before I do this because once you put the rear stock on, it's um, it's no longer quick and easy to um, take the gun apart to adjust the hop up. Um, so I'll do I'll just do that right now. At least it's turned on now. This is a brand new gun, so I don't have the hop up turned on yet. Um, but and the only thing else you have to do is you have to remove uh, this this pin here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, make sure you do it the way that I did it, where the gun is in this direction. If you do it the other way, you're going to have a hard time because of these serrations that are on there. I don't know if you can see those, but there's serrations on there. Um, but that pins out and this needs to slide over the top and shimmy itself into place. And once it's into place, you can push this pin through or this screw. If it is actually in place, I didn't look. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty much there. It's just going to be a little bit stubborn. And then if you obviously push down and spin, that's going to help it figure out how to get its way in like that. And then you need to put the nut over here on that side, press down on it so it gets pushed in. And obviously it pushes the screw back out, but now you can hold your finger over the nut, keep your finger over the nut and you can tighten the screw down and it will become tight and um, you're good to go there. Now you could, um, just not put on the rear uh, rail piece if you didn't want to and you could just use you could have the stock iron sights sit there and if you don't put on this rail piece then you can um, easily or somewhat easily open up the gun to adjust the hop up um, but I mean that's not fun uh, difficulty is, is is what we all want here so uh, we're going to put the the new rail piece on and so there's one screw in the back, and that's going to use the old screws from the rear sight to uh, hold it down. 
all the way in the front. So the rear part has that one screw. I'm just gonna screw it in. Not too much going on. Um, like so. And then the two front parts, uh, it's like bowing right now because there's no screws, but once the screws in, it should line up flush and it'll be very satisfying. Um, let's go ahead and grab these screws. Screw them in there. All right, that's uh, that's it. There really is not much to it. Um, it's very cohesive sort of rail goes along the top obviously in between the segments there's like sort of seams that obviously you can tell that they're different parts but it all is on the same plane it all kind of matches up in the same style so it looks nice um now to unfold the stock you literally just have to grab onto it and pull it and it will uh, lock into place and you can also extend this with um this lever here compress this lever and then you can extend the stock out if you want to and then you can also adjust the cheek um i forget how to do this because i've never done it before <laughs> uh, oh yeah okay so it looks like you pull back and um you basically push back out basically so uh you pull backwards and that unlocks it push down um and then you can push forwards and that will lock it so it won't go up but if you pull back then you can lift it up and you can push back forwards and then it's locked into place probably probably yeah there it goes i just didn't do it that time but yeah that is the stock attachment oh i'm sorry about that you know let's see if i don't know how this is going to be able to <laughs> get on camera here i guess so <laughs> I have no idea, man. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> I might just use a picture from the interweb for this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, get a good thumbnail here of this. Maybe. Maybe it will. I don't know. Yeah, I doubt it. All right. That's, uh, that's it for me today. So uh, have a nice day. Adios. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was useful for you. And make sure you check out uh, the link down below. Uh, that is a link to our Discord server, and you are welcome to join. All right? Have a nice day.